Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carter, and this is episode eight of Walking One Take. And obviously, I'm in my natural habitat here in the corn. I'm thinking about changing the name of this series to like Carter and the Corn or something. Sounds like a horror movie, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it's actually Sunday right now, and the Vikings just got done playing, and they were victorious. So we're 1-0 and in the regular season, which is a good sign, especially after the traumatic last couple of weeks we've had with Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater getting injured and stuff. But that's besides the point. I don't want to think about that. Today's video, um, I want to talk about calorie expenditure and why you may not be burning as many calories as you think. And so the title of this video, I think, is going to be a neat way to burn more calories, which is a terrible joke, as you're about to find out, um, because obviously you know what neat is. Neat is cool or whatever. Actually, I don't even really know what NEAT means, the word, like why we use it, but whatever. NEAT also is an acronym for a scientific term known as non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And basically what that is, is it refers to all of the activity that we are doing um, subconsciously. So, you know, when you go to the gym and work out or go for a run, those are things that you are consciously deciding to do. And those are um, just actual, you know, attentive exercise. And so the um, non act Exercise activity thermogenesis just refers to everything that's not considered uh, conscious exercise. So things like twitching, um, getting up and down, uh, fidgeting, all of those kind of things can be kind of put under this umbre umbrella blanket, whatever term, um, neat. And what they're finding out is that it's actually a very um, genetically variable thing. Like most, like, levels of neat just vary dramatically between person to person and I believe this is why some people can eat all kinds of food and still maintain their weight while other people you know just get fat looking at a donut and it's because the people who have naturally high levels of meat their bodies compensate for those extra calories by making them fidget more um, do all get up and down more go to the bathroom more do all of those things throughout the day to help um, burn the extra calories that they ate and so the bad news is that you can't really change your genetics with neat like you can't change how much your body is subconsciously fidgeting or how much your muscle fibers are twitching uh, because you know those are genetic things and they're all subconscious but you can create an environment that is more conducive for burning calories and so if you think about it this way most people are sedentary in their lives like we aren't burning as many calories as we think like, even if you go to the gym for two hours a day, which I would never recommend, but let's say you're going to the gym two hours a day, what are you doing the other 10 hours a day that you're awake? Uh, if you're like most people, you're probably going to a job where, you know, you're sitting down, and then after work, you're either going home and, you know, sitting on the couch, or if you have kids, you might be going to their practices or games, but, you know, you're still sitting on the bleacher. Like, we're not being very active. And what this does is it kind of makes those calories that we're burning through exercise like less meaningful. And one thing that I've found to be really useful is to create situations in your day uh, where you are allowing your body to naturally be more active. And so I'll just give one example in this video because there are tons of examples and I'm sure I'll write an article on it um, in the future. But the biggest one I know of is to take periodic breaks, periodic breaks throughout the day and try to consciously move around more and I'll give you an example of how I do this. So whenever I'm working, like writing an article, responding to emails, working with clients or anything, uh, I'm normally like on the computer, you know, just sitting on the couch. I'll set a timer for about 45 minutes. And once that timer goes up or goes off, I have to get up and spend about 10 to 15 minutes like doing some kind of like body squats or walking around or going for a quick walk. Um, anything to get my body moving and what happens is if you do this four or five times a day like if you're working five hours a day if you're taking a 10 minute break every hour those that extra movement will quickly add up and let's say you took a 15 minute walk and did that four times a day like during your work day that's going to equal 60 minutes of total walking which is what I'm getting like in these after in these evening walks like that's a lot of a lot of calorie expenditure there's probably like 500 or 600 calories um, that you're burning just by taking, you know, 10 or 15 minutes during your day to take a break from work and walk, uh, where normally during that time, you're, I'm sure you're on Facebook or watching a YouTube video anyways. And so it's just important to kind of create those situations in your life where you're being more active. And I promise if you do that 
it's going to make it much easier to diet because one, you won't have to eat as many, uh, you won't have to eat as few calories because you know you're burning more energy. And then two, you won't have to exercise as hard to get the effects that you're looking for. And so hopefully this video was useful. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe down below. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll have an article up um, around this yet, but if I do, I will link that in the description below. So thanks, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.